middle school math hacks, fraction operations. So remember, when we are adding fractions, we have to have common denominators. So we're going to set up our problem vertically. So 2 and 5 eighths plus 1 and 2 thirds. Okay, so I need to find a common denominator between 8 and 3, and that's going to be 24. So I have to do 8 times 3 and 5 times 3, which makes 15 over 24. 3 times 8 and 2 times 8 makes 16 over 24. And now that we have common denominators, I'm going to add the numerators. So 15 plus 16 is 31 out of 24. I can add my whole numbers. 2 plus 1 is 3. Okay, but now this doesn't look very proper. So 31 out of 24, I need to convert to a mixed number. So I need to find out how many times can 24 go into 31. It goes in there once. And when we subtract there are seven left. So that's one and seven twenty-fourths plus the three we already had. So we're gonna get our answer of four and seven twenty-fourths. And so remember when adding a okay, fractions, we find a common denominator, add the numerators, and then regroup if needed. Subtracting fractions, okay, we still have to find common denominator. So 3 and 1 half minus 1 and 3 fifths. So when I find my common denominator, 2 and 5 can equal 10. So I do times 5 times 5, which is 5 over 10. 5 times 2, so 3 times 2, 6 over 10. Now since I'm subtracting, I'm trying to do 5, take away 6. That's going to give us a negative, so we're going to have to go and borrow. We borrow from the whole number 3, which now becomes a 2, and then I need to add the denominator to the numerator. So 10 plus 5 makes it now 15. Now I can subtract 15 minus 6 is 9, so 9 out of 10, and then my whole numbers, 2 minus 1 is 1, so we get 1 and 9 tenths. And that's how you will borrow when you subtract. With multiplying fractions, this is the one time we don't have to have a common denominator, okay? but we do have to change our fractions to be improper. So remember, that's when we do our Coppell Texas. So we're going to multiply the denominator times the whole number, so 2 times 2 is 4, and then we add the numerator, so 4 plus 1 is 5, so we have 5 over 2 times, we do the same thing here, so 1 times 5 is 5, plus 3 is 8. So 8 over 5. And now when we multiply, we're going to go straight across. So 5 times 8 is 40. 2 times 5 is 10. And then we can reduce this. Okay, 40 divided by 10 is 4. So 2 and a half times 1 and 3 fifths equals 4. So remember, we make them improper, and then we can multiply straight across. Now, dividing fractions, okay, the way we learn to divide fractions is to find a common denominator. And once you have your common denominator, you just divide the numerators. Okay, so again, we have to do our Coppell Texas to make them improper. So 3 times 3 is 9, plus 1 is 10. So we have 10 over 3 divided by... 5 times 1 is 5, plus 3 is 8, so 8 over 5. Okay, now we do common denominators, okay? So our 3 and our 5 can make 15. Okay, so 3 times 5, so we do 5 times, five, or five times 10, so 50. 5 times 3, so 8 times 3 is 24. And we're dividing the numerators. So it's 50 over 24, which is the same as 50 divided by 24. It goes in there twice. 2 times 24 is 48, so we have 2 left. So now we're going to make our fraction. We put the remainder on top, what we're dividing by on bottom. And then since both of our numbers are even, we can reduce it by 2, and we're going to get 2 and 1 12th. 
And that's how we divide fractions. So again, use this as your review for fraction operations and have a good day.